What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, West Coast Gamers, aka So Cali. I'm back at you guys with some more horse racing magic two action. This is day 20 of the journey, and we're leaving off. I mean, we're starting up right where we left off. I remember last time we left off, we were setting horses up for our training. So now we're going to go ahead and proceed. Uh, weeks. We have the chance to purchase horses. We have free zero, free stalls. You want to continue? Yes, I do. And yeah, we, I mean, these are great horses, one year olds that have potential. But the prices, I mean, we're just, like I said, we don't have that money to play around with right now. Even though a source of 77000 is good, I mean, I still think our horses are better than that. Um, so, like I said, we'll get into auctioning once we officially are rolling with the money, rolling with the dough, so to speak, so we can actually really kind of get into that the way we need to. Let's check our information for the week. Uh, we discovered that pay broken, her ground perform, I mean, her ground preference is firm. And for offensive goal, his ground pr preference is heavy. So we're finding out new things about our horses here every week with the preference train. This is really all there is to do. There's really nothing else to do between uh, now and then. So uh, we have to consider a lot of this stuff. Like I said, I mean, these horses at three years old to me were better than those one-year-olds that they're selling for 90, 70,000, you know, and up. And we got these, all of our horses I think we've gotten for five grand, really. And like I said, we're going to build them up and turn them into great winners. Spugly Eyes got us 6,000 in earnings. And uh, Sweeter Jeets is won 2,000. So they're good horses. I got faith in them. They're only three years old. So we can still run with them until they're seven or eight years old. So we got quite a bit of time. And uh, let's see if anything's built for our stable. I really want to get to race day here soon. Is anything built yet? Uh, no, it's not. Let's see if I can even buy the circular track yet. I cannot. So let's go ahead and fast forward another week. I just want to get to September so we can start racing again. But I got to make sure I do this every week so I see if there's anything new that pops up. Okay, pay broken. Her companion is with. Our preference for a companion is with one. And the same deal for a fancy gold. All right. So both of those horses, like, are companions. Uh, let's see if anything is built yet. I, can't, I forgot how long it says it's supposed to take. Uh, I think it's like two or three weeks for these to actually build. So, um, yeah. Nothing else really to do. So let's go ahead and fast forward. We spent 70000 out of that loan so far. We needed to build those buildings. We acquired two new horses. Uh, we can win that back. And a really good race if we get the chance to. So I'm not really worried. Uh, through training preferences, pay broken. She likes blinkers on. And Offensive Gold, he does not like the blinkers on. And construction of our arena is finished. Awesome. So now we can build our circular track, which can be used for endurance to build stamina on our horses. Here's our arena right there. We could improve it. I usually don't improve my facilities until, like I said, we are getting winners. That's really the, that's really a huge deal. If you're not saddling winners or getting places uh, in races, you know, you're not placing in races, I should say, then you're not going to have money to improve and do anything. So to me, you gotta, you still have to put a lot of emphasis on trying to win a race and win some big races. That will really help. As you see, we can get a walking circle. This is useful for breaking in horses, the grooming room. It reduces food costs. Don't think that would be too bad of an idea. We got the riding alleys for acceleration, the clubhouse to uh, host other horses. And uh, they actually pay us to keep horses here. So a lot of this stuff is very, very uh, good to have. But you got to decide what's necessary. We can build the straight for speed. That's 56000 I really want to get something to build the circular track. But like I said, we're not at a point where we're getting much money yet. So what I may end up building here uh, is probably the grooming room to reduce the food costs. And we may buy one more building, but that's literally it. Yeah, we got to wait till we saddle on winter to go get the straight. Um, we need the straight track, which obviously, uh, as it says, and improves the renown and is used for speed training for our horses. And once we build this, then we'll get access to build this, which is the circular track, which obviously helps with endurance training. But like I said, it's a lot of money right now. We still haven't even raced in quite a bit of time. So the clubhouse, $12,000. We can host other horses. They'll give us money to allow their horses to stay here with us so that'll be a good deal um and uh yeah so let's go ahead and actually go back to our budget and let's just see i, I know we need to get a winner in terms of our appraisal yeah money is supposed to last us 59 weeks and in terms of repaying our loan it's supposed to be 204 i'm not worried though i'm not worried like i said i have a feeling we will saddle a winner a couple big races of 20 and 30 G's, we'll, we'll be able to kind of make up for ground. So 
Our weekly expenses are $33,000. Horses fees not that much. The bill is pretty high. And then this is for purchases. Of course, next week we'll get a more accurate representation of what we pay per week. Um, but yeah, that's that. So we could bet on races as well. We could do that, but I really don't want to get into that too much. Not yet. I could try. Betting in this game is pretty difficult, actually. The odds are, are relatively um, legit, but sometimes, like I said, it's just, I don't know. We got a couple more weeks. Pay broken. She's sick. Guess we may have worked her too hard. Oh, she was injured due to intensity of training. It must rest until full recovery in third three weeks. All right. Sorry. Auction of horses over one year old. I do not care about the auctions. Guess we were working her a little too hard, and that's what I really don't want to do. So she'll be resting. And, um, yeah. I guess I should probably break these new horses, the newer horses, in a little slower to the training regime. And we probably do need to build something for them to rest. I think the rest really will help them, uh, help keep them afloat so they won't be sick. Uh, just looking at our horses right quick, we got a fancy gold. Here's his stats. Here's his preferences so far. Spugly Eye, we already know his deal. Um, Sweeter Jeets, we know his deal pretty much. And Pay is broken. She's starting to get her stuff figured out too. She's really good. I feel she's going to be a really good contender for us. Uh, once she's able to run. So I'm kind of excited to see what she'll be able to do for us. Spugly Eye. Train him with Sade. Everybody's got to train with Sade, man. We got him here for a reason. Let's go ahead and advance a week. Hopefully nothing major will happen with any of our horses. and We'll get in a race here soon, people. We just got to make sure everything's all up in the up. Can't fast forward. Um, Sherry Shergan would like your stallion. Spugly Eye to cover his mare. You will receive a fee of $40,000. Awesome. I love doing that. People see potential in your horse, and they want your horse to cover, uh, you know, uh, one of theirs, uh, one of their females, since obviously Spugly Eye is a male, and we get $40,000 for it. Hey, your employee, Morgan Fornan, wants to leave your stable unless you give him a raise. Okay, saddle, saddle, yeah, saddle already is built. Morgan wants a raise. I swear he was the same guy that asked for a raise before. If that's the case, I'm going to fire him because you can't keep asking for raises, bro. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, he wants a raise, so we're going to go ahead and fire him. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and hire uh, Ciliane or Ciliana. We'll hire her. Morgan just keeps complaining and wants raises. So, Whatever. Goodbye, Morgan. All right. We should be good. Maintenance and everything else should be up to par. Our buildings have been built or the saddlery has been built, which would be right here. Awesome. And we're going to let everything else build. There's really nothing else to buy. But we got to get to race day here very soon. We have to. Um, so let's go ahead and fast forward again. So I think that's the second um, time somebody's wanted Spugly Eye to, to cover uh, one of their horses. So that's good. Staff buildings have finished. So the maintenance of our staff will help. You see our money went up because we got the $40,000 that we were offered. And uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go to information. No, let's go to business. I mean, go to business, go to budget. Our weekly expenses are only $6,000 at this point, not including if we were to enter a race or purchase anything else, which we're done with purchases. Um, we don't really have any work that needs to be done. Horse feed bill did go down. I think it was closer to 200 initially. Now it's at 147 so that's pretty good. $6,000 a week is not too bad. Um, okay, we got this. Uh, we got 61 weeks approximately. Uh, I'm gonna keep training. Everybody seems to be doing relatively good. I don't think there's anything we need to change. Got our training set up. Spell the guy's speed has increased because I think it used to be a 67. And um, yeah, Sweeter Jeets, his acceleration I think has gone up. I don't think his acceleration was in the 90s. So, spirits to be good. I think we got actually, you know what. Let's go ahead and actually start looking for races because September is about to be right around the corner. Fancy Gold. I don't know if he's... Let me see what his endurance is. He's got 57 stamina. If anything, we'll put Spugly Eye in a little bit of a longer distance race, a 2200 meter at Fairplex. We'll give it a shot. Like I said, I really hate long distance races, but it may be worth it. So we'll enter him in that. A Fancy Gold. We got to get him in a shorter race. He's only got 57 stamina. Uh, we'll send him to St. John's on the 11th. Get Williams to ride him as well. And Sweeter Jeets. Stam is only 47. Got to get him in a quick race too. Probably the same day. Except instead of entering him in the same race as our other horse, we'll enter him in this race. I have used, I used to enter horses in the same race. 
um, I suppose isn't a bad idea. I don't know. Do I want to do that, actually? Because I'll be able to control one of the horses, and then the AI will control one of the other. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if I want to do that, actually. I might. It may give us a better chance of placing as opposed to trying to win a race for each individual horse. I'm not sure. But you know what? We'll go ahead and just keep them in separate races. Yeah. Okay, so I'll... Our horses are all good to go for races in about two or three weeks. And we'll we'll get to them in this episode. Don't worry about that. Pay broken. She is fully recovered and can resume training. Awesome. So worked her a little too hard initially, so we'll definitely take it easy with her. Uh, we'll just have her keep in shape. And we want to get her in a race relatively soon here just to see what she can do. Uh, we'll send her to Los Alamitos. I think that's a perfect uh, place to test her couple of weeks 1600 meter track 1500 meter is the distance so that's good and let's go ahead and fast forward a week we're finally into september so after this week we will finally be able to race i know uh, the last two episodes have been a little slow because we've had to do just a lot of this finance and stuff and that's only because there wasn't racing for two whole months okay offensive gold he does like earplugs on i don't know why there wasn't racing for two months that, that's weird but regardless we are about to be back in race day Preferences are still getting figured out for both horses. And we'll just have her keep in shape. And then whenever she races again, we'll have her hit the preferences again. Have her hit preferences. Give her, I would say, a week of rest. Actually, we'll give her two weeks of rest. And then we'll have her keep in shape. We don't want to work her too hard. It's race day. Yes, it is. Spugly eye in a field of 13 here at Fairplex Park. Top prize money is $9,500. Distance is 2,200 meters. Let's take a look through the field right quick to see what we're rolling up against. See a lot of 90s and 70s. See a couple of 80s. So pretty tough field. I'd be surprised if we were, wow, our odds are pretty decent. Our odds are pretty decent. So I'm assuming we're definitely talked about in the forecast here. Horse races always talks about us. They they really got faith in our horses. Was not embarrassed against superior opposition on a previous outing. Should be an should be able to outrun this field. We can have good gate position, sure. Not very convinced Vincing in recent outing, but appears much sharper here, a strong contender. And not very successful this season. This could be a best chance so far. An outsider. Yeah, we have yet to saddle a win with Spugly Eye. I just feel any one of these days that could break off for us. So looking at the odds here, we got technically we're the favorite. We are the favorite right now. We are going off essentially if you want to say five to one. And everybody else is above us. So we were technically the favorite. I just hope we can win it. I could simulate, but there's no fun in that. I mean, if I get better at this game, I can win a lot better than just depending on the AI to win. And sometimes they do, you know, win for you. But that's not the purpose of this game. Not for me, at least. The point is to play and actually, you know, try to win yourself. So we are number two. We have we should have great gate position here, running on the grass. I don't know, we're in the sand. We were off the grass initially. Uh, yeah, we're going to move this up to that. Win resistance and fatigue. And we're off and pacing. So hopefully Spuggy Eye can uh, establish good position here early on, depending on, hopefully the pace isn't too fast. Okay, moving a little bit now, so we want to keep him nose to helmet. Nose to helmet. Hopefully we can tuck in right here. Uh, okay, we're going to urge urge him up just a little bit, just tuck right in, that's exactly what we want, just tuck in, be safe, get him up there, don't lose too much stamina, too much speed, okay, pace is a little fast, just gotta get him nose down, and have him settle down, good, alright, cool, 2200, uh, 2200 meter race, so, I believe, yeah, we're going all the way around, you know, we come back, the field's moving a little fast, I may actually want to get him up here so I can move him to the outside, uh, it's like I said, I don't want to be blocked, this horse is actually moving really slow. Whoever's in front of us, that is the three horse, and the whole field is moving. So we're, we're really blocked in. I, I don't like where we're at. We can make a move if this field decides to spread out. I wanted to stay up there, and perhaps I probably should have stayed where I was at. So now we're going to move outside, and we'll have to take the fact that wind resistance may be an issue for us. So we're just taking a little bit of a, of a stroll here. I'm going to get him under the range just to get him up, nose to helmet. Now we're exerting too much 
I was say, don't, don't, don't exert too much now. Yeah, we're going to have to work with what we got here. This damage should still be re relatively good, though. Should be relatively good. Uh, the stretch is not t too long. The stretch is actually very... This is a relatively short track, so... Uh, in terms of when we're going to get them going, I don't know. Now we're exerting a lot of energy here. Pace is moving relatively fast, but stamina should be pretty good. Stamina should be pretty good. I think we'll have room to move. We just got to make our move at the right time. Stamina's looking pretty good. We, we, should, we should be able to have enough to finish this race. I'm not going to move yet. It's not the right time. We got plenty of stamina. Plenty of stamina. We'll get going at the 1800 meter mark. I don't think it's necessary to get going right now. We'll drop the ball down right here. Now we're going to get moving on the outside. There we go. We had to take a wide turn, but that was only that was only way we could do that. Okay, we got we got the endurance. We got the stamina. We can fly up on the outside. We are the favorite. We got room to run. We got room to run here. Let's see if we can make a run. Come on, Spugs. Come on, Spugs. We got room to run. Spuggy, Spuggy guy making the move. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? We might get our first win here, guys. Oh, wow. Almost a photo finish. Almost a photo finish. So close. So close. Perhaps if I would have gotten going just a tad bit sooner on the outside, we definitely would have caught that horse. I'm not, uh, I'm not upset with that at all. We were the favorite, but still, position kind of screwed us. I got a little tucked away and started well, didn't show in the middle stage of the races. The horse stayed on, but never looked like winning. We, we could have won. Just had to get going there a little bit sooner. Like I said, the position is always going to be the the main factor in determining whether or not we actually win a race or not. But like I said, second place is still good. Still good. Even a second at Fairplex. Oh, fancy gold. His preference is with the reins at the normal length. The construction of our grooming building has now finished. So, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not... I mean, that, that's a good finish. That's a good finish. We're placing now. We're, we're placing... Where we're getting some money, so it's only a matter of time before we get a win under our belts here. And we could put Spugly in another race, I believe St. John's, but I don't think that would be smart. So we're going to go ahead and give him a couple weeks off. I really don't like the cinder tracks. We'll have him, let's see, when's the next race he can do? St. John's, yeah. We'll send him to St. John's in a month, so we'll have him train until then. So let's come back here. Let's get his training going. His preferences are good. This is race day. We got him to work, work, and then he'll rest, and he'll be good to go. So I believe we got a race this week as well, or next week. Yes, we do. Fancy Gold, his first race. Remember, this is one of the horses we just purchased, three years old. His first race in the field of 13 here at St. John's, the Skyline Race. Top prize, $9,500. 1,600 meters. Let's look through the field and see what their stats are looking like. Okay, everybody's got 90s so far. Everybody's in the 90s. We have nothing in the 90s. Our best attribute besides our conditioning and our morales, our maneuverability at 87. So we may be a little outclassed here. Let's see if uh, we're, per we're forecasted at all. We're not. And this is a, how long is this? 1600 meter race? Yeah, where are we going off at? 17. Yeah. We're going to do our best, though. It's his first race. Let's see what he's made of. Let's hit the track. Let's hit the track and see what we can do. I believe this is day 20, if I'm not mistaken, of our journey. Pretty sure it's day 20. Appreciate you all watching, by the way, especially uh, if you guys are actually from my original channel, DBZ Warrior. You're seeing the chill, laid-back side of DBZ Warrior, man. Horse racing. I love it. All right. So, goal here. We're on the outside. We're going to have to put this up towards maneuverability and fatigue because we're going to have to move to get some sort of decent position as we're already all the way on the outside. Good start. What we're going to do, hopefully the pace isn't too fast. We're going to tuck in as soon as we can. Yeah, we're just going to start tucking in right now. Field's moving a little bit. We want to stay right behind him. Stay right behind him. And these are just a little bit of energy to stay. Nose to helmet. Yeah, this is pretty good. So I'm going to stay right here. And the field's moving a little fast. we got to get him up a little bit. It's our first race with uh, first race with the fancy gold. So we're definitely going to have to monitor how he runs. 
Okay, they're running at three bars here. So he's, like I said, I, I felt just looking at, at the statistics of these horses, the pace and the race might be a little too much for him, but it's his first race. We're not gonna, we're not gonna give him too much crap. The field is moving. This field is really moving fast. And if I get him under the reins again, I don't know, I think we might be in trouble. We gotta get him up. We gotta keep him nose to helmet. We can't get too far back. Yeah, the field's moving pretty fast though. I think if we had uh, Spugly or Sweeter Jeets in this race, we'd be all right. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to have to really lay low on stamina until the end of the race. Yeah, pace is at two bars, and we're barely keeping up here in the very back of the pack. So, um, I just hope we get a decent placing. I mean, I'm going to have to wait because, like I said, we, we need to we gotta utilize as much stamina as possible. know if we're going to have enough stamina to last for this race. We'll give it a shot here. Don't think we're going to have enough stamina to actually last the way we want to. We'll give it a shot. See what he can do. Pretty sure if I uh, try whipping him now, he'll break. That horse breaking. Okay. Showing showing some promise here. Yeah, stamina's definitely going to tire out by the time we get to the line. Stamina, something we definitely got to work on with this horse. It was only a 1600 meter race, and of course, that does encourage a faster pace. So maybe he'll be better off working in a longer distance race, which is which doesn't make sense. But for this game, if if, if you play it enough, you'll, you'll kind of realize that. But I thought the pace was relatively fast from the beginning anyway. So we'll, we'll put him in a longer race next time. Offensive gold, still not bad. Uh, now our next race, we're right to it. St. John's, the Skyline race, $9,000 is our prize. The distance is 1,600 meters. Sweeter Jeets, we are gate position seven. Let's take a look at the rest of the field. We got a couple of 90s, um, some 80s. By the way, I, when I'm referring to obviously the numbers, I'm referring to their attributes over here. Um, sometimes you get races where the horses are all 90s and 80s. Sometimes there's only a couple of horses are in the 90s. Some other times there's a lot of 70s and 80s. So it does make a difference. If you see a lot of 90s, that's pretty much a good sign that the pace is probably going to be a lot faster than you would like it to be. Are we projected in any forecast? We are not. So it's things safe to say our odds are probably not great. Yeah, we're going off at 16. In terms of finding race preferences for horses in this game, it's, it's still pretty difficult. They don't tell you what type of distances they like, um, which is really kind of hard to gauge what races work best. I guess it's kind of what you got to do a lot. I hate the longer distance races in this game, but we'll do this last race and we'll call it a day with Sweeter Jeets. So 1,600 meters here at St. John's. Let's see what we can do. Wish me luck, guys. Discover power charging. Yo, Captain Ship. Racing on sand here, like so we are. We do have gate position seven. I, I love this game, man. I would really love if this company came back and made a made a third one. But I mean, this game was made like eleven years ago. I don't think they have any indication. If if another game is made like this, it'll be from a different company who may get inspired from this. If I knew how to code, I surely would make a a newer game of this. I really would. But unfortunately, I do not have the experience in that. But maybe maybe I can learn. All right, we're off and pacing. We are off and pacing. Sweeter Jeets trying to get a good start. The pace is moving fast. I just hate starting on the outside. It is the absolute worst. Okay, we're going to move in with the rest of the field here. and I can't tell if that pace is moving fast or what. Okay. Settle him in <clears throat> right there. Pace appears to be moving pretty fast. Actually, we're going to go around this horse because we need to really get up there. Yeah, we need to get up. We're gonna burn a little stamina. Actually, no. Let's tuck in. Let's tuck. In. I didn't want to. I was gonna burn stamina trying to catch that horse, but I don't think that would have been worth it. We're all right right here. We're okay right here. We'll put the ball right here to win resistance and uh, stamina. And like I said, we just want to have enough to last the race. Pace is moving fast. Now, that's the worst. When you're already in the back of the pack and the pace is moving fast. Two bars, man two bars. I definitely got to start putting these horses in different races. I think I'm putting them in races that's still a little um, a little too much for them because they're exerting so much more energy than what they need to be. I mean, the pace is moving at two bars. So that just lets you know that this field is moving extremely fast. We are burning stamina like crazy. Yeah, 
the effort, if you can keep it in green or no balls at all in either, or no ball in your effort thing, then you're good. But if the pace is at least blue or higher, it's, it's really hard to manage your stamina. We got enough, though. I think we got enough if we can make a, a, a good move here. We shouldn't be blocked. Okay, he's moving up, so that works out for us. And we'll just go ahead and... That horse about to break? Can't tell if that horse is going to break. That horse did break. All right. Now we got to go. Now we got to go. That's why I don't put my horses under the whip. There's no need to. Not unless their technique is, like, super high. Okay, we got a little bit of room to run here, but I don't know how well we're going to catch. I mean, our odds weren't great to begin with, so... We may just finish. So, having to move outside so much really sucks, too. We came in seventh. We came in sixth, actually. No, we came in seventh. Uh, we're not a county. <laughs> Okay, I'm in sixth. Not bad. Like I said, um, positioning, the pace was a little fast. More stamina, we could have made a run. But hey, we placed. We actually did come in sixth. Awesome. Four horses broke. So that's the importance. I would highly recommend if you guys have purchased this game or if you still watch these videos because you have gotten it, um, definitely don't use the whip. Not with a horse that still has a lot to work on. And most of these horses are still young. I mean, they're three and four years old. They still got time to really learn their technique. And putting them under the whip is only going to make them break. Started too slow and went straight to the back of the field, leaving the back markers in his wake. Finished well, but it was asking for too much to win. Yeah, I mean, I win, no. There are certain races I do try to win, and there are certain races I just want to place, you know, um, depending on the odds and circumstances. So that's still not bad. And let's go ahead and check our information here. Finished 10th and finished 6th, but at least we placed with Sweeters, so that, that's good. Like I said, as long as we start placing, eventually we'll saddle a winner here soon. It's only a matter of time. So, guys, this is going to do it for day 20 here for Horse Race Manager 2. Hope you all enjoyed as always. Remember, if you did, please smash that like button. And, of course, excuse me, subscribe to the channel for more Horse Racing Manager 2 action as well as my other Let's Play series on this channel. We'll be back for day 21, picking right back off where we left off here. And I appreciate all your support. And remember, if you guys want to acquire this game, it's in the description box below. And I guess we'll take it from there. So, that's going to do it. Man, what's going on? It's like, hey, so Cali, sounds like I'm going to hold you up a great and fantastic day. See ya. Goodbye.